So I'm Alberto Belli, I'm the CEO of Gamera Interactive, which is an Italian studio uh, based in close to Venice. So we're at Reboot, what are you showing here at Reboot? We are showing Alalot, Champions of the Four Kingdoms, which is um, an RPG. So it's uh, something that is in between an, an old classic RPG, an old school RPG and uh, modern action. So it's very old school when it's up to visuals, but uh, you have to be good with the pad when it's up to kill stuff. Yeah, I was feeling a very Path of Exile, like Path of Exile meets Diablo. Yes, let's say that uh, it's quite different because in Diablo and Path of Exile you have to fight against waves of enemies, while the idea with Talalot is um, working on something that could reminds a, an isometric version of our Souls-like. So that's what we are pitching right now. So we are not fighting against waves of enemies, but with less enemies, but very smart. So the idea is that you have to uh, be good and master the combat system to, to, to get the best from the game. Uh, so it, it's a very hardcore combat system. You guys have talk about the um, the world in this game. What's going on? There's like there's a war of the gods, and then Alaroth, which is like an evil god, takes over the world, and it's kind of a mess. Yeah, let's say it's a very high fantasy game. So it's a sort of tribute of the '80s. There, there are a lot of uh, references, like you know, Dungeons and Dragons or Lord of the Rings. Uh, so it's very high fantasy. Uh, we have something like three thousand years of history. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a story about uh, a rebel god, let's say, that is trapped in a sort of limbo, is trying to uh, come back and conquer the world with the help of uh, a sept. Uh, and you play the role of a champion for your kingdom. Uh, you have to find um, an artifact and actually enter the endgame area and uh, prevent your return of Fallout. So Chris Avalon took care of the world lore and character backstories, so th there is a lot of uh, stuff to read and the world lore is very impressive, let's say. You guys also have a lot of options in your game. I saw uh, I saw four races, three alignments, multiple deities, as well as like of your your custom class system. Yes, let's say that you play the role of, uh, of a fighter anyway, but you can customize your fighter with, I uh, don't know, uh, magician skills or clerical skills and stuff like that. We have three different ways, so anytime you level up, you can choose among three different ways. Each way has uh, uh, four different professions with four different skills, so you can combine uh, everything you, you want. So you can be you know, a fighter with healing skills, but even with necromantic skills and, uh, and archer skills, stuff like that. So it's very, yes, it's very customizable. And let's, yes, we have four races. So orcs, elves, humans, and dwarves, uh, very classic. Uh, three alignments, yes, we have a layer of uh, random generated contents. We have a layer of end written contents. Uh, so it's really up to you. And if you play the game, no, no, straightforward, uh, it will at least you know, 10 hours, 12 hours. If you play the game like an old school RPG, it would be a dozen. Uh, so that's the idea. That's why I'm saying we are in the middle. Can you talk about the different, uh, like, can you go into a little depth about the classes in the game? Because you can play a, 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 like a melee fighter or a mage or archer or a ranger or anything like that kind of stuff. Yes, it, at the end, you play a Navy armored guy. So you are a melee fighter. But as I said before, you can customize how you prefer. So it's really up to you because mixing all, just this combination, uh, something like 50, 55,000 stuff like that. Uh, so there is a lot of there are a lot of options uh, when it's up to customize your character. And, but you stay as a melee fighter, so you have to be good with sword and axes and armors and stuff like that. Your game has a ton of like lore and story fleshed out just in the open world alone. I could interact with characters and talk to them and just communicate with them. And, and there's a huge open world map. Talk a little bit about that. Yes, it's a huge open world map. So you basically have <laughs> you have four kingdoms uh, and the end game area, which is in the middle. As I said before, uh, you your your task is to collect four different pieces of an artifact that uh, pop up uh, randomically in each run. The idea is to have a very replayable game. So if you want to see the game 100%. Uh, for sure you have to play the game with each race because you play against other champions uh, with EA playing these champions. So when you do your stuff in your, in your kingdom, in your, the part of the world that you're exploring, the other champions are doing the same. So uh, everything is tracked on the map, so everything is happening uh, is logged so you can understand who is doing what. And there is a night-day cycle uh, 
we have random encounters on the map, uh, we have 12 different companions you can group with, uh, you can do your party, there are dragons. Can you talk about some of the enemies you fight, are there giant spiders, dragons, zombies, that kind of stuff, bandits? Uh, yes, you, you, have, <laughs> you have all the, all, yes, 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 and uh, much more. Uh, we have huge enemies that we are going to show. Let's say that uh, we started to show the game publicly a couple of months ago. And we are just uh, showcasing the human kingdom, which is the, uh, the a classic medieval fantasy, let's say. But the game has four different art directions, so we're going to unveil more contents very soon with the E3 on the way. Uh, it would be fun. So when are you planning a release and what platforms will you be on? Uh, it's not really up to us only, because uh, we are in the middle of many discussions with publishers and platform holders. So the original plan, let's say self-publishing option, uh, was uh, for fall of this year. But if something cool is happening, we could maybe postpone a little bit, a couple of months or so, uh, but to, to, to have a better game for sure. So where can people find more information about your game? Uh, moving everything on Discord right now. So we have a Discord server, Gamera Interactive. We have a Facebook page with uh, 15,000 people talking about the game. We are on Twitter, we are on the major social media, so it's just about Gamera Interactive and we are online 24 per day, so if you want to get in touch with us, it's super easy.